Have you ever heard of Wally Wood's 22 panels that always work? If you don't know, well, let's get into it. What's up, y'all? My name is Marshall Lee, and this is the Marsh Makes Comics YouTube channel. And today we're going to get into another level up sketchbook exercise. Uh, today we're going to talk about 22 panels that always work. Uh, created by Wally Wood when he was, uh, you know, in the midst, in the in the trenches, making comics and trying to find fresh ways to keep it interesting, even when some of the panels and stuff were uh, some of some of the, you know, writing direction was kind of more boring and less like maybe action oriented and stuff like that. Um, and you know, Wally Wood had a bunch of panels that always work that are always make things more visually interesting even when there's not a lot of activity going on in the actual comic if you don't know who wally wood is you should definitely look into him um i'd love to do you know kind of an essay on him and many other of the early comic book pioneers they're worth getting into there's a lot of cool interesting things you can learn from them so as you can see here is wally wood's 22 panels that always work how many times am i going to say that i don't know but <laughs> here is what he put down. Somebody went ahead and made it, you know, copied it and, and made it uh, nice and clear for everybody to see. There's other copies you can see online that are, you know, yellowed pages and it's hard to see. But, um, you know, it's, it's interesting. And, um, you know, what he writes in the subtitle here is, or some, it's, so it's Hollywood's 22 panels that always work. And then, or some interesting ways to get some variety into those boring panels where some dumb writer has a bunch of lame characters sitting around and talking for page after page. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's kind of in jest, but at the same time, you know, there are a lot of times where even you might write your own comic and it's not always going to be action, you know, and there's a lot of cool ways to make it much more visually interesting than just kind of having a bunch of talking heads and stuff like that. So, um what I wanted to do was show you guys how you can do this and I think you should take your own characters and practice them as well so here we go now I'm not gonna necessarily go through all of them but here is the big head uh, panel which is uh, you know pretty typical you see this a lot in comics um, even if you never knew about Wally Wood's 22 panels that always work it's pretty uh, you know the, this is something you've seen around before and you can see I'm using uh, my character glyph here and uh, just you know you put the big head it's it's nice to get a little detail on the face and stuff establish what your character actually looks like and um, you know, it's it's just more interesting than if it was kind of a mid-size shot and everything. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to do um, necessarily every single one of these. I was thinking about doing every single one of these. And then as I did it, I actually did sketch out every one of them. Um, but as I did it, I was like, you know what, there, there's no real need to do like every one of them. But, you know, pick and choose what you like. And, and trust me, this will make your comics uh, even like kind of have a little bit more of a professional look and everything i like this one back of head and part of head uh so this you actually see this kind of framing in films a lot of times where you kind of see over the shoulder of a character um and you're you're really kind of focusing in on uh the character kind of in the background uh and you get a little bit like a part of their head or you might get their whole their full you know kind of uh torso and, and head and everything but uh you know like i said you see this in movies and tv shows a lot um you know see i, I remember soap operas there's certain things you would see like you'd see uh, a character kind of turn their back to the other character and then talk to them and stuff that's a, kind of a different version of that um but yeah i don't know it's it's just interesting and it's it makes it a little more dramatic um way to kind of you know put the, put your uh some more visual interest in 
So uh, let's see, you can see my character Stick Up Kid here in the foreground and uh, then there's Tusk there in kind of the background. He's like the big bad guy of the Glyph comics, uh, which I'll be working on soon. And then here is another kind of simple one, the extreme close-up. Uh, trust me, there's some more interesting ones coming up. Uh, after this but you know i really like this again it's similar to the big head but uh you know you really get to get in some detail and you can kind of it's like it's an added amount of intensity and this is all about storytelling you know like um you know these are just different ways to tell the story better like th this shows that he's like he's not just angry he's like he's ready to like pounce he's ready to do something about what's going on or whatever um and it's just more intense and um this is corn cob rob and there's a full um comic you can read that i created with uh this character he's kind of like a punk rock skateboarder vegetable guy and <laughs> and uh you can get that at donkeyjawprojects.com just for signing up for the newsletter you can read the full comic uh this one's pretty cool one big object so you know it's it's kind of similar to the um you know the the one where the there's a, a person in the foreground and, and then a partial head in the background um but you know you could do a lot of different things with this a lot of times you know it's good for like a fight and stuff you show like somebody's about to fight with like like have like a knife fight so you might show the hand with a knife or you know all kinds of different things a hand with a gun or you know you could show any kind of object it doesn't have to be a hand with anything you know um and you know it's just a great way to kind of frame up the shot and uh make it again much more visually interesting once again we got glyph in the foreground which you only see his hand and then um my other character uh what's his name limelight um in the background and he's kind of a mysterious character he's gonna be interesting i can't wait to get to um actually working on this comic soon um because yeah it's gonna be really cool fway storm's helping me out with this um so this one's profile with no background and it's kind of weird because you would think it would be like profile facing each other with no background or something but um you know just because they are in an environment doesn't mean you have to draw the background i mean you should establish the background here and there and and you should draw backgrounds but um sometimes it's actually better storytelling to not draw a background and uh this one here speaking about backgrounds is small figure uh and then pattern background so i i kind of changed it from uh uh, a term called Ben Day, which comes from it's it's an old illustration term that comes from a guy. Uh, I think his name was Ben Day or something like that. And um, basically, what it means is it, it's it's like a pattern in the background or some kind of like cross hatching or you know it, it's it's more about like kind of shapes and and you're bringing attention to the figure. But um, you kind of, by having just like a repeated, you know, background or whatever. So it's, it, there's a lot of different ways to do that. It's a little confusing when you see the actual uh, 22 panels thing, um, what Ben Day is. You got to kind of figure it out. And people have explained it. And it seems like a lot of times they don't even know. And, and I looked it up on Wikipedia. It basically said it's like a pattern background. And this one is foreground framing. Um, there's a lot of cool, interesting ways you can frame different things in illustration and this is one way to do it I, you know kind of silhouette the foreground uh you know i'm using trees and stuff here and then the figures right in the middle and uh it just frames it up right nice so hopefully you guys dug this hopefully this was helpful for you let me know if you have any other suggestions and uh yeah we'll talk to you on the next one peace out